It's recognized. Thank you, um, members and audience. You know, I ran for Congress to make a difference and get things done. We have a lot of big issues that are problems that are going on in our nation. Uh, we have a border crisis. I'm from Arizona. Uh, we have lots of uh, humanitarian and border crisis going on. Uh, we need to work to improve the education system in our country. We need to work to improve our health care uh, system. It's, uh, it, it's too expensive. And, um, you know, when I served nine years in the Arizona State uh, House and Senate, we actually got big things done. I worked with my Democrat colleagues and my Republican colleagues. And we got issues done, and that's what the American people want us to do. They want us to work together to get things done. And this hearing today does nothing, nothing at all, to further that cause. In fact, you know, I, I think that the, my Democrat colleagues are, are still in denial that the president was actually elected. Um, I saw it on election night. I stayed up late in Arizona and uh, saw the meltdown of some of the, um, you, you know, my Democrat colleagues and the media. Um, and then for two years, even before the election of President Trump, for two years now, there's been this nonstop uh, saying by my Democrat colleagues and others that, you know, somehow the Trump campaign was colluding with Russia. And they, they even said they had evidence of it. You know, they said it on TV over and over and over again. Well, it turned out to not be true. So two years later, you have the Mueller report, says no collusion, no collusion. So instead of talking about that, which they've done for the last two years, now they're, they're changing their tune. And so now it's all about obstruction of justice. Well, let, let's review, and some of my colleagues have already gone through this, but, you know, Attorney General Barr released the Mueller report. He didn't have to do that. It wasn't the law to do it, but he did it because he did it for the public interest to release the Mueller report. Again, no collusion. Then the Department of Justice offered for Chairman Nadler to review a less redacted version of the Mueller report. Chairman Nadler refused. He has not gone. And in fact, I think in the volume two, which is the obstruction of justice part, only 0.1%, 0.1% of the report is actually redacted. Then Attorney General Barr agreed to testify right here in Judiciary Committee on May 2nd. And what happened? Instead of us being able to hear from him and ask him questions, Chairman Nadler insisted that the staff, the staff should question the Attorney General Barr, which is unprecedented in this committee. You know, I believe, I, I don't know, I can't read his heart, but I believe this was done for headlines. I mean, here we had, right there, a blank chair, an open chair with a, with a name tag of, of uh, the Attorney General Barr, and then we had a member from this committee eat chicken and pose with a ceramic chicken. I mean, this is all political theater and political show that makes for, you know, good TV. But are we getting things done? No, we are not getting things done. And now, the Democrats and Chairman Nadler and this committee are asking the Attorney General to break the law, break the law, by releasing grand jury information to Congress. So now we're here today, and there's been a movement, a motion to, to hold Attorney General Barr in contempt of Congress at an incredibly fast pace. From the subpoena to the contempt, 19 days. Let's compare that to Eric Holder. It was 255 days. And we still don't have all the documents from Fast and Furious where a Border Patrol agent was killed. So all I can say is let's work together and get things done. Let's stop this political theater week after week after week. We're just having this theater. The American people want us to work together to work on the big issues. Let's secure the border. Let's improve education. Let's improve health care. Let's stop this political theater. I yield back.